Well, I got my mop shaved off. I got that going for me, but it's getting warmer out. And that's good news for the hay because we're gonna rake it today. We came down to Travis's place where we have the Rhino RDF 14 wheel rig. We are going to start raking today. And then uh, since the 4640 is hooked up to the planter still, uh, we left it hooked up because we wanted to leave it just in case we needed to go out there and do any kind of replanting on the beans or anything because we had several areas that washed out, but I don't think we're going to have to. I just gave the 7600 and the rake a quick bath. So we're heading out to the field to start raking. Time to head back to the farm and start making some bales and hauling them in.
Dad just took off with the JCB. We have the bale mover on the back of my truck. We are gonna head out and start moving in bales. Just a small bar, right? So it was last time. It seems like it's back to the buildings um, apparently when we were making fodder bales last fall it bent a bar in the back of the baler so we're gonna take off take it off and try to bend it back uh, it's not too serious of an issue we should be able to be back up and running in no time so we're gonna head back to the buildings
It's not holding enough pressure up. No, it does. We just can't have nice things. <laughs> oh, this is like the this would be the third time I've actually had to do this. Live as water bills. Round two, let's go. Looks like the boss has showed up, checking on our progress. Heading out to my place to bail the strips out there and bring them back into the buildings.
Looks like I picked up a passenger. He was riding with Dad, and he fell asleep, so Dad threw him in here. Now he's wide awake, aren't you? So he's riding shotgun. This is Alicia's, my sister's kid, by the way. Right, Jack? He's looking around like, whoa. Don't have a baby seat here, and uh, we're not going really anywhere. I mean, this is just like a tractor, as far as I'm concerned right now, for the length that he'll be riding in it. So, just got his lap seat belt on, and he's just sitting there chilling. All right, buddy. Want me to turn the radio back on? All right. Is that funny? Huh? <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> Duh. Yeah, that's right, it's a camera. Well, Travis just left. Dad, Jack, and I have to finish rounding up these bales. Skid with the tracks did pretty good at not tearing up any of the grass. All right, this is the last small bale that we had. Good. We're all done now, and we only had 28 bales. If that doesn't sound like a lot to you, that's because it isn't. So this hay did get rained on, that would reduce our tonnage, but we also do not have quite as much hay ground this year. We have quite a bit going into uh, hay next year with the amount of alfalfa that we've planted this year, but we really don't have all that much in hay this year. So something that I'm concerned about is having a feed going into this winter. So something that I'm considering doing with that 25, 25 acres of oats that we planted, and if I do it, then dad will probably want to do it here as well, is to rent a bale wrapper and make oatlage out of the oats. So how you make oatlage is essentially just harvest the oats when it is at the boot stage, which is when the head of the plant is in the top leaves and it's just starting to emerge. And uh, that means that you'll get the best palatability out of it. Uh, the cows will still be able to digest it. However, oats in particular, if you just round bale it, doesn't like to keep very well. Sorry, the gnats are kind of terrible today and that's why I'm walking around. But um, that's something that we can do is make it into oatlage and that would increase the amount of feed that we have going through this winter. Um, it's something that I'm seriously considering, so you might be seeing that come this summer. Something that I want to address in this video, because a lot of people have been asking me about it, is why we still have the JCB. 
And until further notice, we're gonna have it. Um, we might be working on something to keep it here longer term, but until something's official, I'll hold off telling you guys too much about it. Um, but the JCB is a very great machine. Um, if we can keep this thing on the farm, it's gonna be awesome. Um, it's got so many versatile uses that we can use it for, and just having the extending boom on it is just super sweet. So now that is it for this video. I just kind of wanted to update you guys on how things are doing around the farm. Um, I'm thinking about switching to a different kind of posting schedule. Uh, as many of you know, my normal schedule is Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays at 11 a.m. Uh, but something with that just doesn't allow me to post my videos way up to date. Um, what I'm actually thinking about doing is changing up my schedule a little bit and just kind of posting as soon as I can get the videos out after recording them because I know that a lot of you guys do prefer more up-to-date videos and it is a rather struggle for me to do just because of handling the footage, um, being able to work and edit it and then taking it either to my sister's place and uploading it or uploading it here which can take upwards of two or three days. So I... Uh, I'm going to try to keep them up to date a little bit more throughout the summer um, with my planting videos, especially the corn planting videos. Um, I kept getting pushed back, pushed back, and then I just wanted to re release them all at once, which is what I did. So these videos are now up to date. With that, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, by liking this video, you'll tell YouTube that you want to see more of our videos and your recommendations. So if you want to see more How Farms Work, be sure to give a like. With that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.